What's going on, y'all? It's almost that perfect special time of year when those water temperatures get really, really low and those big speckled trout start to funnel up into the bays and the rivers and smaller creeks and, and stuff like that. And today, I'm going to cover exactly uh, the areas that you need to be targeting to catch speckled trout this winter. But before I get into that, y'all, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. I put out content like this all the time. And to be able to see all of that content, hit that subscribe button. Also, if y'all are not on our Patreon page and you're in the Mobile Bay or, or Gulf Coast area around the Mobile Bay, be sure to check out our Patreon channel. I'm going to post that link uh, here and then down in the description. And I'm going to show y'all a couple of videos right here um, that we've put out in the past. We've put out a whole lot more videos, but this is just a couple of them. Uh, so if y'all are interested to see more content around the Mobile Bay and specific areas that I'm fishing uh, and, and where I'm targeting these fish, check out our Patreon because it gets very, very specific into where these fish are and where we're catching them. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. All right, y'all, I got the Mobile Bay pulled up right here, okay? And we're talking about the winter transition. So um, first off, we got the fall transitions. You, you got, you know, where your water temperatures in the 80s start to drop down into the 70s. These trout move on up into the bays, and I'm going to post a link up above uh, for y'all to check out fall transitions, but this video is all about winter transitions. So we're talking about winter transitions i'm going to bring us into one of my favorite spots which is dog river okay i know this area better than just about any area off of the mobile bay and i know exactly what the trout do in this river and i'm going to go ahead and tell you the trout is is it's not specific to dog river i mean whether you're in jacksonville texas up the east coast these trout are doing the same thing they have the same habits okay so so don't think that it's just specific to dog river all right so when it gets cold these trout push on up into the river and they're pushing into the river um for the the, the main reason is for warmth okay um down here on the the gulf and out around these areas if you head further south it's very sandy down here okay and this sand does not insulate heat very well right but these rivers are loaded with with nothing but mud bottom mud and shell all that stuff right so that mud bottom insulates that heat very very well so when you get your warmer winter days it's going to heat up those flats and stay heated a lot longer um, trout, it, they're that species that just, they really can't stand to be uncomfortable, right? They're, they're always searching for, for that perfect temperature. Um, and so they go into these creeks looking for warmth. Now here's the deal. Okay. Not only do these creeks and rivers have mud bottom, but if you look back into these creeks like this right here, right? They're lined with springs that dump out into these creeks, right? Same thing. Springs are popping up everywhere uh, in here. So the thing about spring water is spring water comes out at a steady temperature, typically around 69, 70, 65 degrees, somewhere in there. That's what that water is coming out as, right? So when you're getting your very, very cold winter days and your water temperature out here in the main river is, you know, somewhere in the 50s, those trout are going to push on up into these creeks and they're going to go around here and look for that warmer water. Well, that spring water, when it's coming out, it's a lot warmer than that water out here. So on your colder days, your trout are going to push on up in the creeks like Halls Mills Creek, Rabbit Creek, Rattlesnake Bayou. These trout are really going to push deep looking for warm weather. All right, or warm weather, warm water. And here's the deal, right? Those trout are gonna stage up around the mounds looking for that warmer water, but as you get your warmer winter days, those trout will retreat, travel back out to the main river looking for salt because the fresher they get, they're getting warmer, but they're, they're, they're losing that salinity that they like, right? So they may come in here, warm up, and, and, and wait kind of for those warmer days. Well, 
when you know as it starts to warm up or later in the day those trout are going to push back out into the main river they're not going to head too far south unless you get a lot of warm warm days if that water temperature really starts to get on up then those trout will push out the rivers um, but all of this is going to be water temperature dependent right if i see water temperatures 65 degrees somewhere between 60 and 65 i can find these trout consistently up into the main rivers okay now if i start to see water temperatures dipping into the 50s then definitely i'm really going to push around these creeks and areas in here especially around these deep bends um, and, and fisted points and, and creek mouths and stuff like that because those trout are going to push deep on into the creeks okay so basically that that's kind of the rule of thumb right when we're talking cold weather trout fishing here's the deal okay if my water temperatures are 60 to 65 boom this is going to be my golden zone right here okay because it's a perfect blend of water temperature and salinity now if my water temperatures dip below 60 these trout are going to push into here okay they're, they're going to say screw the salt all right i got to get warm they're going to push in around these springs all around here looking for warmer water deeper holes uh creek mouths things like that inside these creeks and they're going to hang out there now once that water temperature starts to get up they're going to push back out and here's the deal your water temperatures start to get above 65 in between 65 and 70 these trout are going to push out somewhere around the bay right out in here because it's saltier it's warm enough for them to come out get more salt okay and then as it starts to get colder again boom they're going to push back and that's the deal y'all that's going to be your pattern i don't care where you are if you follow that i can almost guarantee you you're going to find the trout um i mean really it's all about those a there has to be food there and that's that's one of the key points when you're fishing uh that winter time transition and pattern okay if you're seeing bait and you're in those target zones that we just talked about fish it fish it methodically fish it thoroughly because there's going to be trout there if you're in those areas and you're not seeing any sign of life you know continue to travel around looking around until you see that mullet starting to see a little bit of shrimp um, any kind of bait fish darting around signs of life is a good thing if you're fishing those areas and you're not getting anything move on along until you start to find signs of life because the trout are not going to stage up where they can't eat right um, so so obviously that's a key factor also real quickly i'm going to be going into wintertime baits uh, to targeting trout you know as it gets colder but remember that you know these trout are trying to conserve their fat, right? And a trout is not going, especially in these conditions, those trout are not going to spend 20 calories of energy chasing 10 calories of food, if that makes any sense, right? So if you're throwing smaller profile baits, you're probably not going to get bit, or at least you're, you're not going to catch your, your bigger trout. I'm not going to say you can't catch them because you can, um, but you know going with your bigger uh profile baits like your your, your miradine xls um your your five inch you know swim baits and and jerk sheds just bigger baits are going to get bigger bites more so in the winter time than any time else so that's pretty much the episode y'all i hope this was helpful to y'all if it was be sure to hit that like button comment on the channel subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to check out our Patreon page, I promise you, you will not be disappointed with the material that's on there. I mean, we put it all out there. Every spot that we're fishing, we're coming back doing Google Earth overlays of those areas. So be sure to check that out. Uh, thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.